Hello there guys and welcome to another E4 History video. Today we are looking at George of Poyebrady, who was king of Bohemia in 1458. George was born in 1420 and was the son of a Bohemian nobleman. George grew up at a time when Bohemia was in religious turmoil. His father was one of the leaders of the moderate Hussite faction, the Utrechtists. The Hussites was a pre-Protestant Christian faction, based on the workings of Jan Hus. It became very powerful after Jan Hus was burned at the stake by the Catholic Church. George took part in the Hussite wars and fought in the Battle of Lipany against the radical Hussites at the age of 14. Once the Hussite wars had ended, the Utrechtist faction was able to gain freedom of religion within Bohemia. After this, George rose through the ranks of the party and eventually became leader of the faction in 1444. Bohemia was still divided between those loyal to the Catholic Church and the Hussite party. In 1448, George took advantage of the weak leadership in the Catholic faction and conquered Prague, proclaiming himself as the administrator of Bohemia. Initially, there was some resistance from Bohemian nobles, still loyal to Rome, but George managed to defeat them. Eventually, in 1451, the Emperor Friedrich III acknowledged George as the administrator. In 1453, George went to Vienna with the idea to make Ladislaus the king of Bohemia. Since Ladislaus was only 13 years old, George became his regent. As time went by, however, George was in a difficult position when the young king expressed pro-Roman sympathies. George's importance declined as Ladislaus got older, but in 1457 he surprisingly died just before he was about to get married. Despite accusations of George poisoning the king, he was elected the king of Bohemia in 1458. Bohemia initially prospered under his rule. George, however, was worried about the expansion of the Ottoman Empire, particularly when Constantinople fell. He therefore tried to secure peace within Europe by a radical suggestion he proposed a treaty of all European Christian powers with both common institutions and a common parliament. This was seen by many as a proposal for an early European Union. Despite his efforts, it did not have enough support from Europe. Tensions with Rome restarted again after the Pope Pius died. Pope Paul II excommunicated George in 1465, which therefore led to many European leaders joining an alliance against him. He was, however, successful against this alliance, but struggled to retain power until his death in 1471. In EU4, there is a Bohemian event where it is possible to play as him. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and tell me what you think in the comments. Hello, my children. I must give you a message. Subscribe to the social streamers for eternal salvation.